working with you guys. <laughs> you knock yourself out? I think he hates, because I talk so much, it bothers him, you know? But when I'm in the Bronx, I have no one else to talk to but Poopsie, so when I'm around other humans, I... I... Welcome to the Ultimate Weightlifting Showdown. In this video, we'll explore the age-old debate of heavyweights versus lightweights and provide you with the knowledge you need to make an informed decision for your fitness goals. Should you focus on lifting heavy to build strength and power, or opt for lighter weights to enhance muscular endurance and definition? We'll delve into the science behind both approaches, busting myths and revealing the facts. This is your ultimate guide to understanding the benefits, risks, and best practices of lifting heavy versus light weights. So get ready to lift, learn, and level up your workouts. And let's dive in and settle the score once and for all. Weightlifting offers a plethora of health benefits beyond its aesthetic advantages. These include a boost in metabolism for increased calorie burning, improved bone density for better overall skeletal health, enhanced performance in various aspects of daily life, prevention of injuries, and many other advantages. But if you've never lifted weights before, you might be unsure of where to start when it comes to choosing the weight. You undoubtedly already know how important it is to constantly challenge yourself, but should that be done with light weights or big weights? It turns out that your choice of weight is influenced by your objectives, the particular workout you're doing, and your personal preferences. Although there isn't a particular weight range for light or heavy weights, you can choose what you think of as light or heavy by how difficult it is to move the weight through the range of motion for the activity you select. Larger body parts and exercises like squats and deadlifts, which involve numerous joints, will logically be able to lift larger weights than smaller body parts like your biceps and triceps. People lift weights in an effort to develop their muscles, and for some to get those bulky biceps or lean looking arms. Those who want to get slender will stick with a lighter weight, while those who want to build massive muscles would probably choose a larger one. There's no ideal course of action. Both are viable options. You will undoubtedly gain more muscle mass if you lift heavy dumbbells, kettlebells, and barbells, but using lesser weights can still make you strong. It just might take a little longer. So, why might you prefer to lift light weights instead of heavy? Light weights could be an excellent option if you're new to working out or beginning a new fitness regimen. Training your strength and endurance with modest weights is beneficial. Someone may choose to train with less resistance when they're learning the form of new exercises. Then once they get the form down and feel comfortable, they can increase the resistance, says fitness trainer Heather Marr. Although most people would likely benefit from re-evaluating what they think to be light. A maximum squat for a 145 pound woman on average would weigh between 130 and 135 pounds. In this case, Lifting a light quantity would therefore be equivalent to performing 25 to 30 repetitions, with dumbbells weighing 15 to 20 pounds. Now before moving on to heavier, more difficult weights that require precise technique to avoid injuries, starting a weightlifting journey with lesser weights helps you concentrate on form. Light weights can be added to other workouts to provide resistance and maintain an elevated heart rate. Slow twitch fibers, which only continue to burn fat for an hour after you work out, are recruited by light weights. Yet, lifting heavy has its own advantages and may certainly make your workouts more difficult if that's what you're going for. You should perform a lot of repetitions when using light weights. These are simply guidelines, and beginners can experience fantastic results from performing 12 to 15 repetitions on each exercise. Nevertheless, they are just guidelines, and beginners can achieve excellent results from completing 8 to 10 repetitions on any exercise. To watch the end of your set, the weight you chose should still be difficult enough to push you to the point where you can no longer perform another repetition. You should transition to a heavier weight after you can complete the exercise with the same weight for the maximum amount of reps. You must use the progression strategy if you want to keep getting these results. On the other hand, lifting heavy weights is an excellent alternative if you want to grow muscle and improve your strength in the most effective manner possible. Fatiguing your muscles is the key to building strength, and big weights will help you get there more quickly. Simply put, it takes more time to become fatigued when curling a 5-pound weight as opposed to a 25-pound dumbbell. Weights that are heavier are often used for power or strength training. The difference between the two is influenced by movement speed. According to Dr. Amy Schlutz, a physical therapist and certified strength and conditioning coach, 
Lifting heavy weights is beneficial for improving your strength and explosiveness, which are needed for activities like jumping or sprinting. Because high weights stimulate fast twitch fibers, they increase fat burning during and after exercise. Lifting heavy weights burns more body fat than lifting light weights, and the heavier the weight, the more calories you burn with each rep. As fat is available faster than oxygen, fast twitch fibers use it as energy instead of the latter. Many fat-burning hormones are consequently released, continuing to burn fat 8 hours after your workout. The best weights for developing strength and muscle are those that challenge you with fewer repetitions. Shorter workouts with higher weights require fewer repetitions, which results in more muscle growth than longer workouts with lesser weights. Your metabolism will operate more quickly the more muscular mass you possess. Because muscle burns more calories than fat, you lose weight even if you don't exercise. A more effective approach to improve muscle strength, a higher calorie burn by exerting more effort, and a hormonal signal to your body to create muscle are additional advantages of lifting heavy weights. The reps and sets will frequently look like double or even triple the amount of reps it actually is because heavier weights will make the lifter fatigue faster. To perform complex exercises, Schultz advises using greater weights. Expect to use more compound movements while lifting higher weights rather than just one muscular group, like triceps extension, such as the deadlift, power clean, or dip drive to an overhead press. Compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, rows, bench presses, and shoulder presses can be performed with light weights, but if you want to see results, you should alternate using light weights and heavy weights during these periods. However, if you only use light weights, these huge muscle groups won't become fatigued for a very long period. The muscles will become exhausted more quickly and effectively if you use big weights. Weights that are heavier than lighter ones increase bone density. Maintaining a high bone density is essential for preventing osteoporosis, especially for postmenopausal individuals, because bone density normally declines with age. Instead of bending at the hips or back, bend at the knees when lifting heavy objects. Using machine weights eliminates the need to balance the big weight in your hands or on your shoulders, making it the safest option to lift heavy weights for a few quick reps. No matter what your goals are, using both light and heavy weights have advantages. Your body adapts and changes as a result of the weights you use and the way you build up your workouts with reps and sets. You can see and feel that all of your hard work has paid off since progress is a result of muscular adaptations. Now let's say you've been exercising for a while and the 5 pound weights don't seem to be doing much. What ought you to do? Of course, go heavier, but be sure to go at your own pace. You should gradually advance while continuously attempting to push yourself. Leaving aside all the research and trainer advice, the most crucial aspect of your fitness and workout program is that you're continuously working out. And regardless of the types of weight you use, it's likely that that exercise is the most entertaining and enjoyable for you. So, which option is right for your current fitness goals? Let us know in the comments down below. If you want to supercharge your health even more, check out our latest video release or our fitness playlist, both right here on the screen. We'll see you there.